There's like a little backwoods area. That looks pretty cool. Oh, yeah. And there's a little stream down here. Oh! beginners meetup so I thought what could I help beginners with maybe a tip from me to you um, when starting out in photography and I think I think today's theme is gonna be make your photos interesting the viewer should really only have one thing that they're focused on when they're looking at your photography because if they're if their eyes are going from the left side of the frame to the right side of the frame and back and forth then you're not really doing your job so you want to have something for them to focus on immediately uh, throughout the vlog let me give you some examples of um, of uh, things that you could look for or things that you could do. Look at these jokers. <laughs> Get out Yo. of here, <laughs> What's going on? What's going What's on going here? On? <laughs> we're gonna have a, That's weird. We're going to have a vlog off, that I guess. Weird. So here we are in beautiful Brampton. I'm not sure, quite sure where. Uh, kind of near downtown in a park called Dugan Park. Dugan Park. Yeah, on the Etobicoke Creek Trail. I knew someone named Dugan. Guys, stop at the bench. I think she died. <laughs> Any case, so we're here. This is like a beginner's meetup, right? Beginner's yes. meetup. So Paul, you know, as I mentioned before, heads up uh, Get Out Shoot Toronto. And get so, uh, getoutshoot.com. And so, uh, yeah, link that in the uh, The question is, what is Brian doing at a beginner's meetup? That's the question. <laughs> Brian is here to, uh, you know, you're never, really? uh -oh. you're never too experienced to pick up a tip. Say? So behind me, these guys are getting all sorts of tips and tricks from, from Paul and from Brian and some others. And so the thing that I wanted to really talk about today is, is um, that, central, that central focus, that point where the eyes are driven to. And so let me just show you a couple examples of what I'm talking about. So, so here on the screen, you'll see um, the, one of the latest posts I put up of a castle. And so I framed it in such a way that the castle is the main focal point for the eye to go to. So the eye may wander to other directions, but at first it's gonna go right to, right to that, right? Um, here's another example of, of a person walking in the street. So someone's crossing the crosswalk. Now the thing about the crosswalk is, if there's a whole bunch of other people in the crosswalk, then you really only wanna have one person in focus versus 15 people in focus. So for that reason, maybe try using a lower f-stop or just focusing on that one person, or if you can get that person isolated, that could be even better. So the idea is that you don't want your viewer to look all over the frame, otherwise they're gonna be bored. And that's not, that's not to say that when you have a, you know, a beautiful landscape or something like that on, on, a, on a vast mountain, and you, know, you wanna have crisp detail and there's potentially a lot to look at, that's fine, that's understandable. But what I'm talking about is, you know, really composing your shot in such a way that you have that one main focal point. Paul inspires me. Paul's Paul's like seven videos away from 150. 150. Yeah. And I'm like so seven videos make... away from eight. So. Yeah. Can you, can you make 150? <laughs> I don't think so, man. It's no. gonna be a while. Here's a photo of a flamingo. So for example, um, honestly the edit really made this photo, but the, but the idea was I shot this at f1.8, I focused on the flamingo's face, and I clicked the shutter button. So what that did, first of all, is it blurred out the background. If you don't have a lens that goes to 1.8, honestly I could have shot this at 3.5, maybe with a kit lens, and I think I would have done fine as well. I'm not saying you need to have a, you know, a fancy lens or really awesome gear to get shots like this. But the idea was that I focused, and this even works with your iPhone, honestly. I know sometimes with our photos, we get a little, mm, you know, we love the photo or we know what went into the photo to make it happen, right? So, so, you know, like, damn, I had to climb a mountain for this shot. If the shot doesn't work, it doesn't work. And when you show it to somebody else, ask your friends, what's the first thing you saw when you looked at this photo? Uh, ask your, your husband, your wife, your, your daughter, your kid, your son, not your dog, your dog's not gonna, your dog's not gonna be helpful, but, but ask them, hey, what are your eyes drawn to right away when you look at this photo? And if they can't tell you right away, you might have missed it. Oh boy! 
I think we should take a shot. I think we should take a shot while we're here, just in this location. I'm gonna find something just to show you, you know, as an example of what is the viewer supposed to look at? And I'll tell you why. Because look where we're at. Okay, there's just green everywhere. There's a little stream. You know what I mean? This could be challenging. Just, I took the leaf and I put it um, in a tree branch and I shot it against an all green background. And so, because they're opposite, you know, they're on the opposite sides of the color wheel, I think it looked really cool. So, check out the shot. What am I, I doing? I have the rug off going. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're going to have a three way. <laughs> a, well, not the three way that you. No. I've never been to downtown Brampton, but I think this is my new studio space. I'm going to rent this out and it's going to be amazing. Well, look at the. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's just a gym. Mike, it's just a gym. Uh, like I'll just tell my that's fine. I that. Yeah, so that's it for tonight. Uh, I'm gonna leave the meetup now. I think they're gonna do some light trails. I'm not gonna stick around for that, I don't think, but uh, yeah, so if you found any value in this video, please do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to know what you think about uh, some of the tips I shared with you. Uh, if you have any questions about photography, especially if you're a beginner, please um, you know, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you within a couple hours. I'm pretty responsive. Um, and I enjoy uh, helping people and I certainly enjoy reading your comments. So if you like this video, please again leave me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Until next time.